smells of stones instead of houses, sounds of the shells instead of people voices. This is now Toretsk looks like, which is only 10 kilometers from the front line. Air bombs, artillery and Russian missiles daily destroy the frontline Toretsk in the Bakhmut district. Today the once growing money town is hard to recognize. Broken hospitals, petrol stations, schools. Here you see there was a hit when the shelling was taking place. How many times have shells hit here? Well, a lot. And the last time it was kind of funny. Now Toretsk has mobile communications and electricity, there are shops and pharmacies, but a centralized water supply was forgotten here. Even before the start of a full-scale war, Russian troops deliberately destroyed the water supply line, which was located in the so-called gray zone. They were destroying it, but shells often hit another pipeline, and the repair wasn't really done. But uh, these are all the little things in life. Even the residents of the south of Ukraine are already used to it. But damn it, you will never get used to war. Pavlo draws water from the well twice a day. About 100 liters of technical water is needed for basic domestic needs per day. He tries to get water quickly because he is afraid of shelling. It's quiet. They hit us around the clock. It's not like that at night. The shelling is especially strong at night. And shell next to the settlement, specifically as in purpose. Points of invincibility are equipped in the city, but there are not many people in them. Due to increased shelling by the Russian military, many local residents decided to evacuate. Today there are 615, 620 children left here. Before that, at the beginning of the year, there were 950 children. That is, 350 children left from the beginning of the year. I urge children to be evacuated first. That is, the adoption of a strong-willed decision to save children depends on you, the parents. But not everyone is so easy to persuade to evacuate. Many are ready to stay at home, despite the constant Russian shelling. What's holding you here? My two grandmothers. Because of them, my mother and mother-in-law, I will not leave. That's it. I won't go anywhere. About 15,000 people still live in the community. In the city military administration of Toretsk, they say that there are victims after almost every shelling. Since the beginning of the full-scale war, 90 people have been killed in Toretsk. Reported by Diana Kulasnik, Olena Gramova, UATV News.